Yes, we are live. I'm Lonnie. I'm Amberlicia. And we are on Title Nerd Network, brought to you by Infinity Flux out of Hickson, Tennessee, where we were actually at today for the uh, the Halloween Comic Fest. Got some really nice comics. And uh, if you watched our most recent Loot Crate unboxing, you will see that we got this really neat little diorama here. It's really cool. From Stranger Things. Now, oh, this is actually from season one, but That's we are here so to neat. talk about season two, mm -hmm. the third episode, chapter three, The, the Pollywog. And I will go ahead and say, let's see, we're going to put that right up there. Um, I'll say that the last episode was a 10. Um, I would say I'm going to give this a Stranger is. Things honorary 11. Yeah, I was going to say I say it's 11. We do. Stranger Things gets an 11 that because because anything 11. that's really epic like that's going to get 11. It's going to be hard yeah, to but Stranger beat. 11. And let it's me a thing. Just say, you know, because well, it was, of 11. It was a thing before Stranger Things. Giving something. But the girl's 11. name is 11. I know. I'm, I see the pun you're trying to do here, but I'm just saying, giving something an 11. Was a thing before this. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. It yes. was a thing before this. I never knew it. Well, if you've ever watched this is Spinal Tap, which you probably haven't. Mm -mm. You know, you know I, how... actually, I heard about it, though, and I went looking for their albums. They're made I never up could band. find anything. It was they're... like a soundtrack, maybe? There's Yeah, because they're a made-up band. That movie's made up. This is, Spinal Tap is not an actual band. It's just a band for that movie. Kind of like Eddie and the Cruisers. I don't know what that is either. Okay. Anyway, we're way but off anyway, subject at this point. So uh, you're saying it's not a real band. Yeah, Spinal Tap. Like they created the band. Yeah, like, just for that movie. Oh, dear God. But anyway, it was a spoof of okay. rock and roll bands. But anyway, do you <sighs> know how the amp goes up to 10? You know, an amp for yeah. guitar goes up to 10? Well, they're so rocking. Theirs goes up to eleven. Okay. Okay. Well, this uh, this, this seriously. <laughs> Sorry, I had to finish this explaining. This episode, holy <laughs> crap! Also, Devasso's on. I'm watching. Hello, Devasso. <laughs> you get uh, an honorary mention on our Stranger Things review. Ooh, honorary! Um, I'm pulling up the characters. Good. So I don't screw up again. Yes. But this, this I'm episode, slowly but surely learning everybody's name, though. Yeah, this episode, so. holy crap. Um, yes. It was creepy. It was, uh, I mean, dang. It was just like, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, there, there's really not much, like, I don't even know how to put I mean, some here's of the it thing. Worse. When Will threw up the thing in the sink. Yeah. What's the, what's the guy's name with the hat? Dustin. Dustin found it in his trash. At the end of last episode. Yes. and Oh, spoilers just, galore in this. Well, like, we're, I, we're spoiling the crap out of every episode. <laughs> just so you know. Yes. And so, this entire episode is based around Dustin trying to figure out what it is. That thing, yeah. And then he shows it to his friends. And... Like, seriously, that is the entire episode, more or less. Other yeah. than a few, other than, you know, 11 leaves. 11 leaves, that's really going to cause some issues. Yes. Because, um, Because she let somebody see her. Hopper, the the chief of police, mm -hmm. uh, basically goes to the government people and is like, hey, we know that, you know, your experiments or whatever is causing... <laughs> You know, rotten pumpkins and destroyed crops and all kinds of stuff because he actually marks down all the places on a map. Mm -hmm. And the government facility is right smack dab in the middle. Oh, of course. Um, and we know this is happening. Of course, you know, they deny, deny, deny. But they finally come out there and do tests. And while they're doing it, he gets a call about earlier, like in the first episode, there was a guy trying to tell him there was like a, a little Russian girl murdering people or something. And... You, know, you got to remember this was like at the height of the Cold War era, yes. um, which actually it kind of mirrors present time when you think about no, it. We're not without going, going any further into that, but um, but yeah, he he gets a call and he takes off, and 
they make it a point to show that this government dude is really watching him. Like, holy crap, they know something's up. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but Nancy uh, decides to get on the phone and call Barb's parents and says, oh, hey, you God, know, we're, yes. uh, we know, you know, I, there's something that I haven't been honest with you about. She's going to tell her the truth. And, of course, the government people are or monitoring listen, their phone calls. Yes. What did I say last episode? I was like, there is no way they're letting uh, a year go by without still monitoring. Their... Oh, yeah. I mean, I didn't disagree with that. It's the yeah. government. Like, you, they, they might have compromised with you. But really, they're doing all kinds of other stuff behind the scenes. Like, that's just how it is. So, interesting. Here, here's, here's a bad thing. Um, Eleven doesn't seem like... Like, Eleven is good at heart. But at oh, the same yeah. time, she's not getting that social interaction. And she's really becoming a violent person. Um, well, I wouldn't say becoming. I would say she is, naturally. Yeah. And, like, she got into it with Hopper at the beginning of the episode. She's all mad and everything about mm -hmm. him, you know, screwing up and being late. Previous episode to their little Halloween get-together. And she ends up, like, yelling. Like, she's she's becoming impatient because she doesn't yeah. like being stuck in this house. And she time. doesn't understand. She doesn't understand why she can't see her friends. Yeah. Especially Mike. Because they're so close. Yep. I mean, and she, they kind of have, I guess, a little chemistry there because, you know, she knocked the girl off the skateboard. Yeah, that was another, and he knew that it was her. Mm-hmm. But he couldn't he find could her. He could find her. She was gone that quick, you know. Which, what did she, how did she do that? Did she just, like, use her powers to, yep. you know, like, speed really quick away? Or, like, what, what is that? Because uh, that's, like, twice that, this little girl shouldn't have been able to run that fast. Of course, I pick if she can, you know, move trains with her brain and all mm -hmm. this other crap. I don't see why can't she can't just you know move zip herself. away really yeah. quick. Um, but yeah, that was like twice in this episode that she moved really quick. Twice in this episode, she hurt people or you know she actually got mad and like mined through that plate at Hopper while they were eating breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, which another thing, this is, this is actually kind of funny. You can tell the difference between the way you were when you were a kid and the way you are now as an adult. Yes. The breakfast scene, he lets her have like these like candy corn waffles with syrup, oh, like yeah. this chocolate syrup mm -hmm. and just candy all over them and, you know, sugar and Trying whipped cream. Kiss and, her ass. You know, yes. the, of course, you know, Eleven is like, you know, eating the crap out of it. Mm -hmm. And we were sitting here watching it with Joseph, and he was like, God, that looks really good. And, you know, I'm over here like, oh, God, that I'm looks I'm the like, opposite. I was like, hell yeah. Oh, well, you I don't thought like that was corn, good? But, yeah, I want chocolate and all that on my waffles. That would be delicious. I don't know about that. Oh, well, you don't like chocolate like I do. I so. mean, I do, but holy crap. I, I was trying to make a point. You just totally crapped well, yeah, all over yeah, I it. did. <laughs> because... What adult doesn't want to eat dessert for breakfast? Hello? I mean, That's part of being an adult. I don't I'm know. sure if we took a poll, there'd be about, especially with the group of people we run with, the nerds, they're going to tell you, hell yeah, dessert but, for breakfast. <laughs> but, you know, we get all this, They, they this little monster, this polywog, um... Number one, Dustin is really defensive of it. He oh, it's his yeah. pet. Oh God, you know he's giving he's, it a name. He's instantly bonded with it. Yeah, and this thing is straight up from the upside down. Mm -hmm. it's, There's no denying it's it. It's evil. You can already tell it's that it's probably a baby. Yep, yeah, you can already tell that it's getting these. It goes from like having front feet and running around like a tadpole to growing an extra pair of legs to where now it can. Yes. And. uh it's already creepy looking. I, I was surprised they were even holding it. <laughs> My first thought was like a little stinger was going to come out of its tail and hit one of them on the arm or something. I thought it might bite somebody. I mean, it, it looked like it might just... Like it'll be... And then suddenly like... Yes. Like that. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I, I do not doubt like that. Like its mouth was going to open up like Pennywise's. <laughs> yeah. I mean, exactly. That's... Yeah. <laughs> 
I guess I was just like, I would rather be bitten by it than stung by its tail. Because mm-hmm. that's, that's, that's where my mind went, was holy crap, it's got a stinger. Um, yeah, but uh, I mean, this episode was amazing because most of the episode is them trying to figure out what this thing is. Um, Dustin puts it, like Dustin finds it because it escapes. It grows to like four mm-hmm. times the size that it was. It was, you know, I mean, yeah, and, and it's now growing. It's, now it's like fast. you can hold it like this. This is over the it course of a day. It went from one hand to two hands in the course of a day. And it's overlapping the two hands. Yes. So he put it on his head and put his hat on over it and was hiding it from the kids. Which the nasty. Kids. Let yeah. me just say that. Put that um, slime shit all in his curly hair. Because <laughs> they were acting. I mean, all that. And then, you know, he's trying to act like he didn't find it. And um, Will's mom is watching the video uh, that they had taken during Trick or Treat Night, Halloween. And she sees, like, the cameras dropped. And she sees Will walk away. And she sees the outline of the big tentacle monster. That was great. And she goes and, like, scribbles over it with wax paper. And then compares it to what Will drew. Yes. And that, that was, like, a moment. Like, holy She's crap. She's like, holy crap, this is real. Yep. This is real. It's really happening. He's She's going to go see Hopper. It's not just PTSD. This uh, this season is progressing a heck of a lot faster right. um, than the previous season did because there's no establishing nothing. And did you notice uh, this the girl Max mm-hmm. that the dude that we said was her brother said He's he like, wasn't? Don't her call her that. That's not my sister. Is that you think that's the really legitimately maybe? Or it could be a, a stepsister. stepsister. Yeah, there we go. Or it could be he's just an asshole. I'm I'm leaning towards stepsister. Me too. Just because physically. they don't look alike either. Mm-mm. Um, and he's he also might have gotten stuck with her. Yeah, and yeah. who's who's the dude? Steve, the boy, uh, Nancy's, yes. well, ex boyfriend at this point, I think. Yeah, um, he's he's pretty upset with her, but yeah, he's starting to get uh, kind of kicked around now by this older brother. Yeah, which is probably going to make him turn into an asshole again. Which he's Billy because he's mellowed out since last season. Yeah, after everything, and that's him, isn't it, Billy? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, so Billy is the older brother. Max is the younger sister. The, the new people that have popped in for season two. Mm-hmm. If you've noticed, like, a lot of shows, they introduce char- new characters each season that defines the season. Mm-hmm. Like this... Uh, they either do that or they defi- they introduce new characters that oh, they have to get rid of. Well, like, I remember... <laughs> uh, it's, this is kind of an 80s thing, too. But I could always tell what how far along the story was in Thundercats mm-hmm. depending on which characters were in it because it was like the core group of Thundercats in season one mm-hmm. and then season two saw the new Thundercats that came over that mm-hmm. you know like the blind dude and yes. the, the black and white uh, striped like panther dude that yes. looked kind of like Tigra but he was silver and uh, like then they had the Lunatacks, you know. The, oh, God, yes. You know, like the villain group from the dark side or the whatever it was. But, yeah, that was how I could always tell. You're like, oh, yeah, this is a new episode. It's got the other people in it. And that's kind of how, like, I'm looking at Stranger Things. It's like there's a handful of characters that have been introduced this season that kind of freshened it up to keep it from getting stale. Mm-hmm. Not a jump in the shark moment, but just adding new people because... Yeah, because to make the story more interesting. Yeah, to kind of flesh it out a little. Yeah. Um, is there any other plot points that we're missing at this point? The I mean, the ending. The ending. Now, um, the... I guess kind of, sort of, stepdad to Will. The ending is what made it 11. Yes. <laughs> the uh, the yes. stepdad, I can't, I don't well, know the guy. Well, he's the, the boy, he's Bob. Bob, his name. yes. 
He's played by Sean Astin of uh, Goonies he said, fame. You want to ride in the Bobmobile? Lord of the Rings, and you know he's <laughs> Samwise Gamgee. That's how I'll always remember him. Yeah. Um, he is like the stepdad to uh, Will and Jonathan, and so he's trying to bond with them, and yada and he's yada, doing a good yada. job. And he is. But he tells Will, he, he I guess he wants to give some of this because sage advice. He's not experienced what they went through, so he doesn't know. Yeah. He, if you notice, his character is still pretty innocent. He just thinks that it's, it's all a bad dream head. and it's all in his head. He was not there for this. He was not there for it. And you can tell a difference between him and everyone else that was present. Yeah. And so he thinks he's just doing this kid a solid when he probably just ruined things. He tells him, you know, <laughs> hey, you know, whenever I had these, you know, terrors as a kid, I would just stand up. It was a clown that he had an issue with. Mm-hmm. He's like, I would just stand up to this clown and say, no, go away. You know, I'm not scared of you, blah, blah, blah. And so at the end of this episode, Will has one of his little flashbacks and it chases him through the upside down school and he runs outside and he sees this thing grow up out of the school and this big tentacle monster and this thing doesn't look solid it almost mm-hmm. looked like it had tornado yes tentacles. that's exactly what it looked and like. i was like what the crap like what is this thing and so um he stands there and like screams at it and the thing like one of its tentacles come down over him and all of the black like nasty like i guess cloud or whatever it is starts going into his eyes and his ears mm-hmm. and his mouth and that's the end of the episode. I'm like, that holy was, crap. That was great. Is somebody going to save him from that? Is this stuff just in his head? Mm-hmm. Is like any number of things. And really, the episode was already a 10 at that point. But mm-hmm. yeah, we're going to give it an honorary Stranger Things 11. This was episode three. And 11. to this point, is the, in my opinion, the best Stranger Things episode. Yes. Yet. Oh, yeah. Even. Was as good as last season was in general, and how it ended, it it doesn't compare to this one. Yeah. It doesn't. Yep. So this well, one's got it, it going just on. Kind of swallowed him whole. I can't wait to watch the next episode. So we are going to watch <laughs> another one, and we probably will be back in about around about an hour. Um, mm-hmm. If you're watching these live with us, so we'll be. We'll be doing at least one more. I'm almost positive we might be doing another yeah, one probably. before the end of the night. On top of that, maybe. Uh, if we don't do five, we'll probably just end up zipping through them tomorrow, one right after mm-hmm. the other. So we are going to be done before the end of the weekend with our Stranger Things reviews. Yay! So I also got my Stranger Things shirt. Yeah. I know. I love that shirt. It's one of my favorites. I do. It's got to wear it this weekend for the <sighs> Stranger Things review. All right. right. Anyway, we're not going to delay anymore. We're going to go watch another episode. Number, what, four? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number four. What is the next one called? Uh, I don't know. You want to look what it says on there? Let's jump over here and look at it. Da, 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 da. It's called Will, Will the, Wise. the Wise. Holy crap. Oh, man. The one after that's called Dig Dug. Interesting. Anyway. All right. Well, we will be back next episode with the review of Will the Wise. And this has uh, been the Stranger Things Review. I'm Lonnie. I'm Amber. And we are on Title Nerd Network, brought to you by Infinity Flux out of Hickson, Tennessee. i got to hurry up. This has been Stranger Things 2, the review of Chapter 3, The Polywog. <laughs>